hello friends welcome to our qtp classes so as we have discussed in our previous classes before launching the application we under application under test we should launch qtp first so we have launched our qtp application now we are going to launch our flight hey wait we will launch it using our previous day code so let's see how we are going to do that control o control o will open a new all control o will open your previous day file or whatever file you wanted you just need to know the location so let's let's open so we have here in last session we have discussed how to give the meaningful name meaningful comment then system dot util dot run to run, launch the application execute file to execute the file where your functions has been kept and data table dot import will pull your excel sheet into the current execution something is pending yes or is pending where you are associating or your or so we have to go to resources associate repository now from here okay repository is also associated because we have saved the same application now let's check whether it is working fine or not so we are going to wait for this point okay agent name entered then password entered see so it entered into the function and then it did then it entered into denver it entered the flight from okay so what happened so far it has entered the flight from and flight to now it has entered so this line set text we needed see this is a function this function is coming from the file it is we have kept here set text also coming from there click on button is working absolutely fine then click select from combo box is also working fine see okay all these functions are kept in a separate file this is how a real time project will work and we should learn how to write this kind of things this kind of functions this kind of way approach of this is a duplicate mm. this uh, this is the approach that we should follow during our real time project it should also give a proper report so let's see the report see system util dot run so this file is launch successfully see step this file this launch successfully application was launch then this object exist this is qtp but actual report is here what value it has entered into set text this is a user defined value which is coming from the excel sheet mercury value has been entered in the text box this is the password mercury then win button is clicked see win button okay button should be clicked is clicked and the status is pass then in flight reservation it is saying portland is selected and the second one denver is selected so we are getting a very good report and everything is fine now in this class we are going to learn one more thing which i may not have covered last day that is naming convention for objects see here in this object we are giving login button is win button okay second is win edit so object name should be given in a way that it should give clear meaning what is the type of object like agent name is there we all know it's agent name but 
what is the type it is a win edit sap edit web edit what kind of edit box based on this this will give a hint so that you can able to fetch this function set text on win edit if it is sap edit then there will be a different function which will you need to create so that set text on sap edit should be there now this is not correct see fly from fly to do you get any information what type of box is this of course it is written here but when you pulled in the program you will not get this information so ideally our okay let me fix this so ideally it should be win combo box fly from win combo box fly to right done so this is win win now anything else flight this is a button right so win button btn we will write short form i remember there should be a standard because when multiple people are working from different location you should follow the same naming convention you should follow the same approach because somebody is creating or there can be a chances that some other person need to take that or and design the test cases so if it is not very clear it will people will face trouble they may not be able to understand what this component type is and what this component does so a lot of time will be wasted in understanding that what type of object is this or what is the functionality of this object so your or should be very very clear second thing always remember smart identification in any boxes the smart identification should not be enabled smart identity see since we have disabled smart identification disable here settings where is that oh uh, we remember somewhere i have disabled this okay i remember that it is in the tools sorry it is the tool object identification in this case when it comes to standard windows we have not enable smart identification that is why smart identification is not coming there but if you enable this smart identification like this apply and save then what happens okay for the time being we'll do it what happens in this object repository this smart identification will be enabled so don't forget to make it false especially for buttons text boxes for frame smart identification is fine for table smart identification can be used but for this windows text uh, for this uh, win button button combo box smart identification is not at all good you may land up in identifying wrong object and then debugging will take lot of time because your object will not fail it will show this object is pass so you'll consider it is pass where it was fail long back okay so today we are going to learn few more object identification properties um let me see do we have that handy where we have written that no we do not have handy okay give me one minute okay now you can see there are so many types of objects what are these objects these are button so we have already completed 
button is completed we have written function for it we are calling in our program so whatever button will come we'll just pass the name of the button and button will be clicked not name the path uh, with the page name and other things but function is ready for it text box completed combo box actually it's a drop down not combo box that we have completed so far completed we have function ready and everything done now combo box also we will consider as completed only because we will see in future if we have some combo boxes because it's the same pattern now we have radio button check box image link table and frame is a web property a web property which we will like to see later table uh, let's see if we have something then in today's class we are trying we, what we'll do we'll see how we are dealing with radio button checkbox image link other things and how to write a function for this thing so that we can keep on calling every time and remember this thing very nicely if you know these 10 things how to deal with it you are 70 to 80 percent ready with the automation especially the way i am telling writing a function identifying using or then we will move to the next level which is descriptive programming as of now we are doing only or based we'll go to descriptive programming let's start with radio button so in the same example flight reservation where we are saying this is a radio button so we'll see we have to give this okay now we'll click on the flight button because it's a button so it's not very important and we'll see how we can add this thing to our sorry now control and then you can move your mouse anywhere the moment you release your control see it's a list why it is coming as a list no it's not list add object is it a list now we can see that if you click on this add object and now identify this then it is identifying as table flight table see okay this is flight table whereas when list from is the list of this how do we know now we'll identify flight reservation let's highlight so this is the first page flight table so on that page there is a table see so this flight table is a table now we will go to it's a dialogue now we will go to sorry this is not a table flight table is a dialogue box you can see here class it's a dialogue box now we'll go to from from will be this list so how to select something from the dialog box and it's a list we can say that it's a list box now see there are very less properties attach text is from and it's a list so you can modify this list any time as per your wish so we'll check yes it will identify with only this property list box see flight so many things are there which you don't need at all so we don't need this native class let's see whether it is highlighting or not it's highlighting of course so this is the way of optimizing because if it can find out uniquely using one property there is no need for putting so many properties here in ideal case there is hardly two properties in descriptive properties or max three very rare is three ordinal identifier can be one or two 
it can be generally used as uh, if you can see here ordinal identifier is index and location okay for browser we never use location we always use index okay we use index and and this smart identifier if it is required in this case also see so many properties are there which is not at all necessary now this is looking good let me check it out yes there are a lot of properties here also we don't need this properties we will keep our or clean and simple see it should be clean and simple mm -hmm. now we are good we are good with our or we'll save it what to do next mm -hmm. okay cancel mm, we'll we will see once so i have just drag and drop the code here if somebody wanted to see we can see from here we select it and just drag it the line of code is automatically created now for select we are already selecting this so there is another command called extend let me uh, but this property will not select because one person when he is flying from one location to other he can select only one timing only one flight it is not possible to select multiple things and then proceed further so this case will not be applicable leave it extend i will show you some day later some so now we are running only this particular line we are not running anything what is the line is saying we'll select 3 let's select it start from 0 so we'll select 1 or 2 okay now we are select we are running a program to select for second row 0 1 2 it's a third row see third row is being selected if you are not sure of it we will make it 5 So now it was third selected. This time it will select six. See, six is selected. Okay. So let's write the function for this program. How do we write the function? We'll write the same way. Hmm. write a function for combo box okay we will copy the same function we will paste it here what we are writing we are writing a function to select from list write a function to select item from list is it okay now first of all i have to remove this comments control shift m control m is for comment control shift m for uncommenting it so we don't need this we'll remove it select item from list okay now it is giving a meaningful name second is windows then second is uh, it's 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 a dialog it's a dialog box and third is object item windows and then this if anybody is unable to follow just try to understand that we are creating another function for list box why because we do not have a function for list box and in this this time we uh, see the change is so fast you have decided all that object will be 
I have just modified two places and then the object and remaining execution happens based on object. Now this object item will keep it here. Select the object item. That's it. Now in this case see when we are writing this thing it will say that one is selected or two is selected or it will say one is not selected two is not selected but we don't want in this way we want some meaningful name so let's see whether we can have some meaningful name instead of just one item or two item is selected or not selected we'll see this no we do not have yes we have selection so property name is selection it is giving you the complete idea about what is you wanted to select okay now how we will write this before throwing the report we will go to Mm -hmm. item what we will do we will try to select so um, object name is equal to object child dot get ro property get ro p r o p e r t y get ro property which property i wanted to pull get ro property will pull the property of done now what you can say object name so here you will write object name and in this place we'll try to see whether this work or not no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we will mention here one quotation and sem sorry one quotation and semicolon so that we understand that this place the object name is completed because it's it's a big list as you can see okay as it was this complete line will come so it is very difficult to read in the report so we will write this write in a way that it is easily readable one second mm -hmm. Where is my qtp yes <laughs> second thing object name In this case, here we will write this is I'm making just to make the code more readable. When the report is coming, report will come very nice in this case. You can use get arrow property during runtime to identify your properties. Uh, a property of a is property of the object during runtime using get arrow property so what we are doing we are identifying this we are getting the arrow property selection for this we are keeping it in object name and then we are printing this object name in our report so let's see we will comment this line this line is commented already no this line is not commented you okay we will write this line here so last time we call this line now we will call the similar line what is that we will copy this thing flight and dialog and table we need this for calling a sub your sub should always be in the inverted comma and it should not be parenthesis for table uh, for function you can call in parenthesis 
but for sub it should not be in parenthesis parenthesis means this brackets it should not be there in brackets okay so this is done two parameters are passed what about third parameter we will select one okay that should also be in this format okay now we will comment it and we will comment this also or we can delete it it's not required anymore done okay so let's run and we will see what is happening before that we'll check that this table is displayed let me see something is there which is saying in reporter there is some problem one second this should be make fail comma okay yes yes it is there we are missing here ampersand concatenation this is getting concatenated with and here also we miss the same thing concatenation if you see in this example if here uh, we have ampersand ampersand act as a concatenation it's a hook it's you can imagine like it's a hook like a train bogies one train compartment is attached to other compartment using a hook so it's ampersand here acting as a hook this is a variable part this is a hook which is binding or it is a combining this string with this string this string so the report will come in a meaningful way let's start oh okay guys uh, seems like some more things i need to fix up one second this is not win dialog this will be only dialog this is not win dialog this is um, this is only dialog this is not win dialog we can go to properties and we can see control r we will see what is that dialog box is where is the property flight table so this flight table is a dialog box okay so it's a plain dialog box d i a l o g object dialog box no 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 this is a dialog object item okay give me one second actually there is some mismatch between the or see it is saying dialog object is not found in object repository check object repository to confirm the object okay so this is how it happens when you so dialog is the what is the dialog box name flight table and it is saying dialog box is not found windows and then flight table is it the same spelling flight table and then it should be object dialog not object item sorry guys okay when see windows what type of windows object windows dialog what type of dialog object dialog okay this object dialog will be mapped to this dialog 
then child then click child dot click okay object child dot click is a wrong it should be highlight because there is no incident of clicking then wait two seconds and then object dot select select then after selection it will get arrow property and it will give the report okay i hope it should work fine now let's see it highlighted it is weighted and then support this property or method child object dot select okay 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 so you know what happened it is expecting it to be in the parenthesis i believe so let's put it in the parenthesis one and then two one second let me okay guys let's come back to our session so where we are see it is windows flight reservation generally qtp will identify at three levels or maximum four levels so if any application where you have to dig down more than four levels you can follow child object or you can make as a object child object and then you can debug further because it will not uh, support five six levels of down the execution what happens here we have find out windows what is the windows flight reservation then inside the windows what is there is a dialog box what is the dialog box name it's a flight table then inside the win list inside the table what is there inside the table there is a win list so what is the table win list name it's from then what action need to be performed this is very much similar in our day to day life when we write a letter to somebody then what we mention first is we mention is the country which country or sometimes country is very generic because generally letters will be limited to a country or a courier so what they will do first is state which state you belong to second is in the state which city which town which village you belongs to now inside that city or town what is your location what is your location inside that town so that door number area road number etc will be mentioned and then a smart identifier will be there which is a pin number so based on that pin number is like a smart identifier every area is divided based on the pin number so if pin number is wrong your letter will go in a wrong area irrespective of then that will have to navigate back and come to that similar way here three levels of digging is there so we should have three parameters object for windows win object dialog object dialog win list it's a object list and then the function or the number that you are passing through it so we are calling this function flight reservation flight table and the list name is from and then we want to select one let's select this time five or six okay sorry we wanted to select six now the function is ready if this window exists then do this thing okay if this window exists else report that window screen is not displayed we will see this thing how it is doing okay first is okay windows exist then it will go to child object what it is assigning all the object to a child object child object is a collection of object in this case where collection means windows dialog win list so ideally this object child will have all this list all this 1 2 3 4 5 6 all this list is being hold in this object child now object child dot highlight that's why it is highlighting that list wait for 2 second and then select the number that you are giving then it will object child that means in this in this list in this list 
गेट आर ओ प्रॉपर्टी गेट द रन टाइम ऑब्जेक्ट प्रॉपर्टी आर ओ मीन्स रन टाइम ऑब्जेक्ट प्रॉपर्टी एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट विल प्रॉपर्टी नेम इज सेलेक्शन सो गिव मी दिस वैल्यू सेलेक्शन वैल्यू ऑफ द सेलेक्टेड आइटम एंड असाइन इट टू द ऑब्जेक्ट नेम नाउ वी यू आर प्रिंटिंग दिस ऑब्जेक्ट नेम इन आवर रिपोर्ट See, suppose you are executing this and is saying that okay, number item number two is clicked. How do you know that this item number two is clicked? And in future, if you wanted to use it for some other processing, which item was selected, you want to store in the Excel sheet or you wanted to do, you cannot perform any action without going through this R O because this is a runtime property. Now I'll show you another example. I, first, let's execute this ones. We will we will we will select this first case, okay? And now we will execute it. Let's see what happens. It is highlighting the list. Then it is waiting for two seconds. Then list is being selected, and report is being displayed. Report yes, report is being displayed. Now see the beauty of this R O property. which item is being selected this is the item should be selected and it is pass so ideally what you pass parameter number 5 did you pass this parameter no this is being selected at the run time we like to see one more example we'll close this we'll change the location now since there are less items so we'll decrease the number and we'll make it Three. Okay, now run it. Highlighted. Sorry, you know what is the issue? I am passing number as a string, as a string. So this is getting failed. We have to pass it as a number only. done run it see it is selected report is generated now see run time this property is being selected london to aa i guess it is correct london to aa okay so see this this ro property is selected at run time that is why in the function itself we have written so imagine so much of effort will be saved whenever you are calling this function every time you just have to call the function and all the records will be done automatically and nicely so you don't have to bother about it okay chalo we are done with one more uh, we will we will try to store this object okay button also so that next time this happens automatically add object we will click on this okay button save this is okay flight table why this is coming flight 1 flight 2 okay see in this case sometimes you have to maintain your or maintaining or means see flight and flight reservation 1 flight reservation 2 flight table flight table so it is thinking like it's a different table but it's not the different table so control x go flight and then control v so this is a button now this button will be home win btn okay done so one button and now you don't need this so you can simply delete this so this kind of optimization is required so that your or is very clean and clear flight reservation table i have to select from and then i have to click on okay button you can keep the cancel button as of now i'm not keeping because it's not required for me okay
we will okay so we'll go once again we'll see we are selecting in the code we are launching right clicking and then clicking on flight button and then what happens we will wait wait for five seconds pop-up will come then we will select this list okay and after selecting the list what we are doing we are waiting for again for two minutes generally give some time for the application to respond otherwise your test case may fail if application is slow for some reason either system slow or network slow issue now we are going to click on this ok button are we going to click on this like this no we are going to click with using our function click on button and what it need it need uh, this three parameters so we will give this three parameters okay so this is windows dialog and button and action it already knows how to perform that action and these two functions will keep in our repository so that we can see it's a clean run okay we will save this repository and now we wanted to see a clean run cancel mm, where is our or object repository program no sorry library functions right so we want to keep in our library function okay open with notepad so we'll see what are the functions that we are having we are having here set text win edit second is click on button third is select combo box fourth will be this item select item from list why we are copying this because this is a good programming practice to select select item from combo box i guess it is there select item from combo box yes it is there save it okay now I will delete this also it's not required your code should be very clean and very perfect then only it will look good done ideally this green lines we are not using because these are the comments and we will remove this control shift M okay see all the lines are there so what we are doing we are we will see one more thing this time this time before clicking on ok button we wanted to see something ok third is this 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 and we will see finally the report ok so now our or is associated how to check or associate repository see this or is already associated otherwise we have to click on this plus sign click on this or and then open <coughs> item is already exist ok second thing is our this is our program that need to be called this is execute file this is a, the place where our functions are written and this is data table database table one more thing is there how to add resources automation the data table is there okay great table view is already there so let's execute it once again let's see agent name identified now I wanted to see this data table see only one value is there that is username see here username okay 
and what is the sheet name dt sheet global c this is a global sheet global sheet is generally referred as dt global sheet and it is a database table okay so you remember this uh, writing this line of code like this data table parenthesis column name comma it is data table global or data table action once this action this uh, execution is performed this sheet will be unloaded so if you see then there are table you will not find any table in this any value in this table this is a runtime getting uploaded one second this and then run it password and then click ok what happened ok oh not found in the object repository mommy stop shit ok one second give me one second actually we have changed the name that's okay guys so we have seen that it has launched this till this point and now we are going to execute further let's see selecting from fly from fly to then click it will click on flight button oh okay just okay, this time it was unable to click on the flight button we will stop it okay let's see what happens after this remember we have written function for positive and negative scenarios that if button is found what will be the error and if button is not found then what is the error so till selection it is working fine then it is saying dialog box object was not found in the object repository flight reservation click on object repository to confirm that object exists so it is saying that it is not finding the dialog box flight reservation dialog box let's see because we have already checked so it should not happen what is the issue we will go for control r and flight reservation flight table so it is saying that flight reservation is not found is flight reservation is here one second minimize then flight reservation is here we will see can it highlight no is not unique it is saying so we may need to add few more objects because do you remember I have deleted few objects and that's why this type of things you should do in the initial stage only okay so it is saying flight reservation is not found let's see that is not unique more than one object in the application matches the description so we will go to this place what is that application that is matches the description mm. Um, don't know but let's see if it is not finding unique what values we can add see no values so we will write index index 0 ok let's see now it is identifying Is it because of OR it is not identifying? No, OR was not there. Okay, so this is where this is how when multiple objects exist and uh, QTP fails to identify, you can increment the index one by one and let's see. And the OK button, let's see where OK button is highlighted. The user cannot be found on the application okay the table is not there that's why okay button is not coming then flight button let's see yes flight button is getting identified then why it is not clicked 
flight reservation and then win flight button win button flight is so to be clicked why this was not clicked okay we'll check it well then flight reservation click on button where is the click on button login and windows okay win button okay similarly click on button is flight reservation then win button this total v okay we'll run till this point and let's see else we need to debug more and find out what is the issue Wait, wait. Let me see. It seems like there is some problem with the function itself. We will check it out and uh, then we will. Okay, friends. We will run it last time and now we will see. Application is getting launched automatically. The stable is getting launched automatically and now it is executing. One second, we will give this date and then run it. So table is there, it's highlighting the table, selecting the row and then done. Okay, button is clicked. Flight reservation. See, it is coming like your object repository, frame by frame. Flight table. This value is selected. So this is the way that we have to write. We have to create functions, and we have to proceed further. now see last time this flight number was not visible now since you have selected the flight number becomes visible if you want to store this flight number for future use suppose this flight number is required then you have to add this thing in your object repository and work on it let's see how does it can be done resources object repository manager open object repository and okay make it editable now this add object is there so go to flight number and find out it's simply coming win edit but this edit box is not editable it's not ed uh, non editable how do we see we will see it here if you go to the properties visible is true so this is visible and uh, it's not given here ideally it should be edit enable or disable should be there but it's not there okay leave it so i hope i have given a brief idea today about this okay we'll check the radio box also we'll see once how the radio box is works then Mm, table is done and then no no table is not done 
this uh, drop down list is done then the one uh, actually this is a different type completely where is that radio box we'll check for this radio box and we will add the second one let's see business class and third one is economic class okay see these three things are already selected now we will see one two four control x we'll put it in flight reservation we'll put in flight reservation and then we'll delete this flight two okay so we have added our radio buttons as usual we will simply drop this radio buttons to be selected let's see this ok button was not working because the navigation is not from dialog box the navigation is from windows it's from table i'll show you just a second reservation and radio see this ok button is under flight reservation okay so that is why this was not working whereas this ok button was directly under login dialog box so this is dialog box inside that this so we have function for dialog box button but we do not have function for flight and then dialog then okay so there this is a different function is required for this same pattern only thing is you have to mention one more thing windows windows then dialog then button this is also a different type where you have to mention windows and then button edit box and then this uh, radio button so this is radio button dot set you can say dot set mm. dot you have click option then you have get arrow property option then you have mouse set we'll go for set true we'll make it commented anything else nothing okay we'll remove this function also see code is so clean if you remove this thing also that's it this much only 10 18 19 lines of codes are required okay save it and then we have to close this flight reservation let's see one or more breakpoints are not possible okay that's fine second now we will see now this is economy we are selecting for business class business class is selected and report is generated business dot click so business class is selected we will try to get the data for this flight number that is why we have written uh, we have added this in the repository control r to open the repository in the read mode and then we will go to flight number We'll write a very generic code at this point of time. We will not write function for this, but definitely it's good to have a function. Is equal to Windows Flight Reservation dot edit.
फ्लाइट नंबर इक्वल्स टू ऑब्जेक्ट चाइल्ड डॉट गेट आर ओ प्रॉपर्टी ओके एज यू नो गेट आर ओ प्रॉपर्टी नाउ विच प्रॉपर्टी विल कैरी दिस वैल्यू सो इट इज टेक्स्ट और इट इज समथिंग एल्स वी हैव टू वेरीफाई वंस फ्लाइट नंबर इज टू नाइन सिक्स जीरो ओके टेक्स्ट इट इज टेक्स्ट विच इज कैरिंग दिस वैल्यू सो वी विल क्लोज राइट हियर टेक्स्ट ओके नाउ विल गिव एम एस जी बॉक्स दिस विल डिस्प्ले यू द वैल्यू दैट इज केप्ड इन दिस फ्लाइट ओके ओके एज ऑफ नाउ विल डू दिस मच ओनली लेट सी सी टू नाइन सिक्स जीरो वट इज द फ्लाइट नंबर टू नाइन सिक्स जीरो सी सो इन दिस वे यू कैन सिंपली फाइंड आउट नाउ यू गॉट द पॉइंट वी हैव क्रिएटेड चाइल्ड ऑब्जेक्ट दिस एंड देन if you don't want to create child object what you will do you can directly write the same thing in the same line how remove this and then this thing delete this will also return the same value we will comment this and now we run it again see 2960 okay now as you have seen that application is not coming in the front only qtp is being displayed in this case if you want to take a screenshot this is not the right way so what you will do screenshot will come for this qtp not for the application so we'll make the application highlight okay let's see क्लियर ओके ओके एज ऑफ नाउ आई एम क्लोजिंग दिस सेशन एंड विल कैच अप वेरी शून फॉर द रिमेनिंग टेस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग द क्लास